You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What is up? What is up, party people? We are getting into it today. There's a lot to cover, lots of questions, lots of emails, lots of texts, lots of client calls, and lots of action on the old YouTubes. So if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel in a while, you got to do that. We're going to cover a bunch of questions today. But if you've got questions, we want them now. We want them right now. 214-310-0008. We're getting into all things residential real estate And I always say across the great state of Texas, because we do get questions from Houston, Austin, Waco, Tyler, San Antonio, El Paso, all across. But obviously, we spend the vast majority of our time talking about and helping answer questions and deal with challenges and concerns and goals in the DFW area. So if you've got DFW real estate questions, 214-310-0008, call or text right now. We continue to be one of the most favorable, attractive safest, most secure residential real estate markets in the entire country. Lots of big names, lots and lots of big names are finding it convenient to make recommendations uh, around real estate with zero expertise in real estate. I'm not going to name names, Courtney, but I could. Uh, Lots of people that are finding it popular to say it's better to rent than to buy. Now, they're not saying that from a monthly cash flow perspective. They're saying it from a borrow all the money on the planet that you can and go out and try to time the stock market and real estate markets and make a fortune. Uh, And behind the curtain, uh, that's not exactly what they're always doing. So uh, what I want to talk about today as we make our way through the show is, you know, what's good about the DFW real estate market, what's always been good, and what certainly appears to be good for the long future. So we'll take your questions throughout the show. Call or text those in, 214 310 Zero 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 eight, or as always, you can visit us online right now during the show, or when you're staying up late at night, or on the weekend, or anytime you choose at toddtremontiteam.com. Don't worry about spelling the name right. If you ever goof it, just go to Google. You do your best, Todd Tremonti, T R A M O N T E. But if you miss that a little bit, it'll find me, Todd Tremonti. Just Google it, or go to toddtremontiteam.com. You can click on any button, call or text any phone number, fill out any form. And ultimately, we'll figure it out. And one of our full-time, fully dedicated real estate experts specializing in either buyers or sellers will reach back out to you and figure out how we can add some value to your life, whether it's time to buy or sell or not. Even if there's no commission in it for us, we'd love to be a big value add for you. And when the time is right and you need a pro, we feel like we'll probably get a pretty good chance at that business. So 214-310-0008 or ToddTremontiTeam.com. The first segment of the show is always, has always been brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his mortgage team over at Cardinal Financial. I've known Patrick for 25 plus years, I believe, and they've been our go-to mortgage lender as long as he's been in mortgage. My wife and I have literally never gotten a residential mortgage from anyone but Patrick over the years, and I think you should trust him the same way we do. If you, knew, if you want to call or text them, 972-728-3420, or you can find them online 24 hours a day at patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. They specialize in veterans loans. Uh, they also specialize in traditional residential mortgages. There's a lot of things they don't do, but they do those things very, very well. They do it as a team using their God-given gifts and abilities to deliver world-class value. I don't know if you've heard that one before. Very similarly to our team, which is why we love working with them. Go to patrickglaros.com. That's Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team at Cardinal Financial, NMLS number 308804. If you've got a question about you, your home, your investment, your property, your family, you need to ask it. Don't hesitate. 214 310 Zero 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 eight. That's two one four three one zero 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 eight, or online at toddtremontiteam.com Just about any time, and we don't say it a whole lot, but you can also find us all over social media. Basically, just look for my name. Most places were Todd Tremonti Realtors, or you might just find my profile at Todd Tremonti. Maybe it's Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. But if you look up my name on just about any platform, 
you'll find us. And uh, we'd be glad to connect with you there and uh, uh, deliver as much value as we can uh, once again. Lots going on over at YouTube. If you haven't been there in a while, go to TalkTramontyTeam.com. Click the Videos tab. I think it would be a great idea to subscribe to that channel so when we, when we produce new educational content, you'll be notified. A lot of our old radio show episodes are on there and some excerpts from the show. You can search by topic and question and answer. It's all there. But for today, lots of questions lately. I mean, a whole bunch of questions about, you know, what are the hot areas in DFW? Which areas are struggling? Let me start by saying there are very few areas that I would label as struggling in any significant way. Are there some areas that are performing a little bit better than others? Yes, that's always the case. It's interesting, Plano, Texas right now, you know, for years and years and years, Plano has been like on every list of the hottest suburbs in America. And for the last couple of years, it's not on quite as many of those lists. And the, a lot of the questions are why? Well, it's a fair question. The answer is Plano's not as new as it once was. And in many ways, it's more built out than it's ever been, right? It's, it doesn't seem to have like the massive brand new initial growth phase potential that it once did. But some of the big benefits of that are many parts of Plano are beginning to mature and they're no longer kind of the trendy new suburb. People that grew up in Plano are laughing right now because they've witnessed this in their lifetime. There are parts of Plano right now that, you know, need some cleanup, need some updating. And I'm talking about just basic infrastructure, roads, curbs, signage. Um, but that's creating another opportunity uh, for one of the first times kind of in the life cycle of a city like Plano for there to be some revitalization. If you haven't been downtown Plano, uh, 14th, 15th Street, east of 75 lately, you should. It's awesome. There's great restaurants. It's super walkable. There's some entertainment. Uh, some things have turned over recently where uh, the new has replaced the old in a good way. Um, and there's some, you know, there's some great evening, you know, midday entertainment shopping food options down there and it seems to be growing and expanding beyond its original borders we actually looked as a team at potentially officing down there it just didn't work out but we really love that area so that's you know a glimpse at plano what's happening there in the evolution of a of a city or a town that in almost any other state would be one of the largest cities in the entire state. And depending on how you count things in Texas, it is. But compared to massive cities like Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Austin, you know, Plano's finding itself in the bottom of the top tier. But it is a large city of 300,000-ish people, which is still really, really growing to the west and the northwest. And there's some infill development and there's some revitalization at things like Collin Creek Mall and some really cool stuff happening. But... For the first time in a long time, the really shiny new, you know, city building toy that was Plano, it's not as new anymore. Again, the west part of Plano, northwest is still certainly new, but as a whole, it's just it's become a mature suburb as opposed to the newest exploding suburb, which in the corridor where Plano is, Frisco has kind of become that, right? Frisco is the explosive growth, you know, almost everything is new. And it hasn't yet experienced any real, you know, maturity as far as a city. Now, old downtown Frisco has got some really cool stuff. We've got some friends down there with the Heritage Table restaurant and some really cool stuff happening over there. But as a whole, Frisco is now the the north and northwest suburb that's thought of as the explosive new top of everybody's list deal. Um, don't you dare discount Plano. Plano is incredible, but it's becoming a little bit more mature. So we get a lot of questions about, you know, what's the difference in Plano and Frisco, Frisco and Prosper, Frisco and McKinney and all these things. Um, but it's been an interesting observation in my 20-ish years of real estate in DFW to see how Plano has matured from that hot, hot, hot new suburb. And if, of course, new is a relative term to more of a mature community um, that's got for the first time, you know, some revitalization needs and opportunities. So anyway, that's a question we get a lot, something we wanted to address today on the show. Also want to talk to you about uh, the value of a home warranty, right? When you think about a home reaching that phase, you know, when you buy a brand new house, a lot of times there's a builder warranty. When you buy a not brand new house, it's a really good idea to think about a home warranty, 
right? And Home Serve Home Warranty has been doing that really, really well for our clients for a long, long time. Um, we've had phenomenal representation from the staff over there. Christine does a phenomenal job for our people. If you're buying a home or if you had a home warranty and it's renewal time, I want to strongly advise you to take a look at home warranty through Home Serve Home Warranty. Check them out online at homeserve.com. That's homeserve.com. Let them know that we sent you. Ask for Christine if you're looking for a familiar name, and uh, Home Serve will take really good care of you. But, you know, when we talk about a community like Plano, kind of reaching that maturity age where, you know, there's some redevelopment what? of roads and things like that. Little John just wanted to get in there. Um, the same thing is true for a house. Like the, the conventional wisdom is that a brand new house doesn't need any work. It's actually not true. That first year, there's this settling in period where houses often need a lot. It's like, hey, a staple went through that wire when we put that in that wall and you're the first person to ever live here. So you're the one that's going to figure that out. That's what builder warranties are for. Well, cities and, and the age of a home kind of goes through the same thing. The reality is there's a sweet spot, in my opinion, kind of years two to 10, where there's almost little to no maintenance. Everything is new, but everything's been kind of broken in and worn in and it's, it's usable. After that, to me, is where the opportunities are for, you know, remodel, repair, revitalization, making it your own. And, um, and we do a lot of both new construction and sort of that um, young old house that needs some, needs some love uh, here at the Tatramani Home Center. But one of the other things that we do, and I want to bring Courtney in because she loves being on the microphone. Producer Courtney loves it. Uh, one of the things I want to bring you in on, one of the things we love to do is what we call homes on large lots. And so these are homes that might have a half acre lot. It might be the biggest house in the neighborhood all the way up to like the house that's in between the neighborhoods that everybody drives by and kind of drools over because it's got two acres, four acres, five acres, maybe 10 or 20 acres. It's not a farm or a ranch, but it is a home that is on a really, really big lot or some open land that is mostly for security, safety, privacy, recreation, things like that. Courtney, when you think of homes like that, what what parts of DFW come to mind? Uh, further out, uh, let's see, above Plano. Okay, north is what above means. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not making a Again, sexist comment. I was just about being on the mic. Uh, she loves yeah, it. Above. My wife also says above. She'll say it's the top right. I'm like, okay, northeast. Right. When I'm looking at a map, it's above. Right. Um. Let's see. Because you then, look. Because you look at a lot of maps, paper maps. I. You know, directions are my spiritual gift. I can sense that. I, now, listen, I, don't you dare put it past you to think that Courtney doesn't know her way around a city and where all the best stuff is, like restaurants listen, and recreation. That's her That's her jive. I didn't become a travel guru by not understanding a map. I normally hate the word guru, but the way you just said it, I, I, I liked it a lot. Okay, good. All right, back to you. When you think of homes on a really East, big lots... East. East of Dallas. East of Dallas. I mean, just basically all around the loop. But you are, like, I live in a neighborhood in Richardson where, like, people are people so. That's all the specificity <laughs> we're going to give. <laughs> are so lucky to have these huge lots because they back up to a creek or something. Right. But like you said, that's like a drive-by jealousy yep. vibe. So, yes, we've got a lot of land around the loop. 635, George Bush. Mm-hmm. Multiple loops. Multiple. Like We've got target. several loops. So <laughs> you're right. So that I think you have a, a very um, typical, not wrong, but a very typical opinion of, oh, those properties are all kind of on the outer edge, right? Right. So if you're in the Dallas area, you're thinking Wiley, Saxe, Tuts. Murphy, Parker, and certainly farther out, Nevada, Farmersville, but that, you know, Mesquite. Lucas, Mesquite, that area, right? And yeah. if you go north... You're starting to think, okay, it used to kind of be McKinney Frisco a little bit. Now it's past that, right? right? So right. it's Prosper, Sherman, certainly up into Justin and Melissa and, you know, beyond Louisville up in the Denton area. And then as you start making your way west, you know, Colleyville, South Lake, Lake Worth. Now you're getting Walsh Ranch, Alito, Weatherford. You can kind of come on all the way around Grand Prairie, Granbury, all these things. It's the perimeter, right? It's that outer ring. Right. That is not wrong. But the thing I want to make people aware of, there's some really, really cool acreage properties in town. And it, it, it's also what you were talking about, right? Don't tell people what neighborhood you live in. But 
in almost every neighborhood, not all of them, because, you know, if you bought a house in Frisco in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know, it was probably on a fifth of an acre or a quarter of an acre, and every lot was the exact same. The houses were a little bit different, and I'm not picking on Frisco. This happened in Plano and uh, parts of Richardson and Carrollton and, you know, Coppell. All, it, it happens everywhere. But during these really big building surges where the value of land is going up, 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 it tends to be smaller, similar, standard lots. But those areas develop around these typically smaller strips, you know, not even officially a neighborhood, but there might be one or two or three blocks. And you're like, Ooh, everything over there is an acre. I love those are great. Big backyards. I can have a swimming pool plus room for the dogs, swimming pool plus a little shop. I can have a three or four car garage. I can have a she shed or a, you know, what's it called? A man cave, you know, whatever the case is, garden, all those things. Even people that don't actually want or need those things kind of wish they had room that they could. Or like you said, to back up to a creek or to have a little bit more wooded area or have a view of water of some kind. The, the point I'm trying to make is, yes, those properties are on the outer edge. We specialize in those. We sell more of those than almost anybody in the whole area. If you're looking to buy something on a large lot or land, just go to ToddTremonteTeam.com and let us know. We'd love, love, love to talk to you about how that's a very, very different process to buy or sell a home like that. If you're not working with an expert, which most people don't, because any agent will tell you that they can do it. Most people miss out on a lot of value because they don't have a pro. But the point is there are also a good amount of those in those infill areas, right? It just happens to be that odd lot that was left over when they built the neighborhood. It's kind of that pie piece in the corner that's a half acre. Or it's just outside the neighborhood or in between some neighborhoods and it's two or three acres. Or it's like, the golden property that was just somehow missed by all the developers years ago. And it's five or six or seven acres. And maybe there's like two homes on it and you've got two generations and it's this really cool, neat thing that no one can replicate. Well, those are uniquely valuable properties. But if that's something you're, you're listening now and you're really interested in, man, you got to reach out. We love those. Pro I live on a property like that. Our team loves to sell them. We sell more than just about anybody in the area. It's something we specialize in Call 214 310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Or go to toddtremonteteam.com. We really specialize in about three things on our team. It's based on our agents and our giftedness and our marketing. But there's about three things that we do at a very, very high level. Number one is mid to upper neighborhood homes. That sounds like a really, really big niche, but we have built a seven-point proprietary marketing system around, you know, kind of the, 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 the mid to upper range homes in the neighborhood. As of today, that's probably like 350 to 850. Now we, we sell plenty of million dollar homes and we certainly sell some threes and 325s, but for the most part, that one of the number one of those three niches, really the areas we have a specialized marketing plan and agents who are amazing at it, that mid to upper mid neighborhood home all across Dallas, Fort Worth. Number two is this one. It's homes on large lots, maybe a half an acre all the way up to like 20 acres. So it's, we're not talking about that normal neighborhood home now. And we're not talking about like a working farm or ranch. We're talking about a really big yard or some extra space to have an animal or two, but not full-time for-profit primary income type deal. And then the third one is what I would just call specialty properties. And it's really hard to define. We don't talk about it as much, even though we should. But if you have a house that's got some really unique value to it, those are harder to sell. And typically they sell for less value than they should. What we love to do there is create unique marketing programs for unique homes. We get to flex our marketing muscle a little bit. So we really like those uniquely valuable homes. So those are the three areas we really specialize in. We don't do commercial. We'd love to connect you with someone that does commercial. We don't do big farm and ranch, although we like it, but we will refer you to someone that does that. And if it's in an area or a property type that is not in our area of specialization, we'll connect you with someone that does. So call us still, but if it's not in our wheelhouse, we'll introduce you to someone that can do that at a much higher level because you just can't be great at everything. We are really, really good at mid to upper end neighborhood homes, homes on land and homes with really unique value. Tell you what else uh, you need to know when it comes to unique properties or valuable properties is that insurance is different. And so we reach out to DP Lambert. We recommend you do the same thing. 
dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Goosehead Insurance is a highly regarded insurance provider, especially in Texas. And DP Lambert is a guy that's been really, really good for us and our clients for a long, long time. The communication is excellent. They can broker out your insurance so you have a lot more options. You're not captive to one provider. They can make sure you get the best coverage at the best price. Somehow we get more coverage and spend less every single year. And it's due to the willingness for DP and his team to hunt down the best options for us and not just assume year in and year out that what we have is what's best for us. So reach out to DP Lambert at Goosehead Insurance at dp.lambert at goosehead.com. If you ever forget the name of one of our pros that we talked to on the show, just go to toddtremonteteam.com, click the radio tab, and all the information is there. You can click the video tab and find our entire YouTube channel with hundreds of educational videos, past radio shows, past excerpts from the shows, and then hundreds of videos that are not from the radio show that we're recording throughout the week for our clients and our friends at the Tatramani Home Selling Team. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home right now, whether it's in a neighborhood, on land, or it's uniquely valuable or has some unique feature, go to toddtramonteteam.com or call or text 214-310-0008. The English wonder is not with us today. But if you call 214-310-0008, you'll almost always get a chance to speak with him directly and figure out what's best for you. There's no pressure to buy or sell if you're not ready yet, but we would love to help you and we're willing to help you put together a strategy for what you, your family, and your finances need most when it comes to buying, selling, or owning and enjoying your residential real estate. ToddTremonteTeam.com or 214-310-0008. Now, If you haven't had somebody on top of your roof, literally up there to look at your roof and determine if the seals around the boots and the vents and the whirly birds and all the turbines and all those things are done properly, this time of year is a year, really every time of year is is a time that that's important, right? In In the hot, hot, hot summer, that's when our bills go up because cold air is leaking out of the home. In the, in the winter, the warm air is leaking, but also we tend to get more rain and ice, snow, sleet, things like that. And so you're, you have more opportunity for leaks. So regardless of what time of year it is, regardless of the temperature, if you haven't had somebody up on your roof in the last two years to get a really good, accurate look at the quality of your roof and how well it's protecting your home, you need to reach out to PMR Roofing. You can go to pmrroofing.com or you can call 214-957-0839. We know the owners, we know the team over there. They're really, really wonderful people. They do the right thing. If you don't need anything, they'll tell you that and they'll be fair about it and they'll go away. If you do need something, they'll tell you that. They'll be fair about it and they'll do the job right the first time. PMRRoofing.com. Ask for Jordan. Tell them Todd Tremonti sent you over there. All right, when we come back from the break, we're going to be answering more and more of your questions. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, it's 214-310-0008. If you're looking to buy or sell, a uh, mid to upper end home in a nice neighborhood, a home on half an acre or more, or a home with a unique feature or unique value. Uh, You need to talk to us. There's no charge for the strategy session whatsoever. We can jump on Zoom. We can jump on the phone. You're welcome to come in the office. We'll even buy you a cup of coffee or a Coke or a glass of water if you're into that sort of thing. Just set it up right now. Call or text 214-310-0008. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, HomeServe Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Here we go, Courtney. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. 
Welcome back, party people. Welcome back. What's your house worth? Literally, right now, what is your house worth? If you own a home, do you know what it could sell for right now? Do you know what it should be taxed for right now? If you don't, it's it's a new world of real estate. Things have changed dramatically since uh, COVID-19 and really since a few years before that. It used to be sufficient for you to check your property value once per year in the state of Texas because property taxes are such a significant item. It used to be important for you to check your property value once per year around property tax bill time. Um, and honestly, a lot of people didn't even do that, which I just, it's hard for me to comprehend. So certain people will look at their stock portfolio like on a daily basis, but don't think about the value of their home in a similar mentality. Whether you're looking at it as an investment or just as an as an expense, either way, I believe you need to do that. Now, it used to be that once a year was kind of the norm and not everybody even did that. Well, I am trying to make the new norm because I believe this is wildly to your benefit is that you need to check in on your property value at least once a month. The reason for that is because the value of that asset is changing on a, on a much quicker timetable than it used to. Our economy changes on a faster timetable than it used to. Politics moves on a faster timetable than it used to. Interest rates move on a faster timetable than they used to. Our world is moving at a faster pace than it ever has. And I'm sure that's probably been true every day of all of history. It's just an accelerated pace of life, pace of activity, pace of economic uh, movement, um, pace of the news cycle, all those things. Sadly, the news cycle drives a lot of that. So what I want you to know to protect yourself and your family and your finances is that you need to know the value of your property. It's going to determine your borrowing ability, your credit scores. It's going to determine um, your uh, taxing ability, not ability, your, your taxable value, your cash flow, your net worth, all sorts of financial metrics. You may not need to take any significant action on that information all the time, but I believe you need to know that. And, and here's a really, really cool and easy way for you to do that. Right now, you can go to valuethishouse.com. Valuethishouse.com. You can go on your cell phone, a tablet, laptop, desktop, PC, Mac, doesn't matter. If you have access to the internet on any device, go to valuethishouse.com. You'll type in your basic information about your property. If you have multiple properties, you can do this for multiple properties. Basic information. It's going to pull up all of the automatically available data on recently sold homes in the area, active homes, and it's going to tell you with a pretty good degree of accuracy what your home could sell for or rent for right now, as of today. It's also, this is, thing, this is something that a lot of the big portal sites do not do. It's going to give you a confidence score. So let's just say you put in your address information and it comes back $662,437. Then it's going to say confidence score 88. Well, that's an okay confidence score, but it's not great. So if you're planning to take some sort of action, refinance, sell, buy, consolidate, something like that, 1031 exchange, whatever, then you might reply to the email with the value and say, hey, I, I, it was only an 88 confidence score. Could I get a custom valuation? And then one of the members of their Todd Germani home selling team will do a deep dive customized valuation for you with a 95 plus percent confidence score to help you make a decision. If you're not currently making any major decision, you might be happy with a confidence score of 85 or 88 or 90 or 91 or 92, something like that. But you can get a free less than one minute property valuation at valuethishouse.com. And if you haven't done that in the last 30 days, I believe you should do that right now. You can also sign up for a free monthly market report on our website, which will tell you what other properties are doing in the market around you once a month, emailed wherever you want it emailed at no charge to you whatsoever. All of that starts online at valuethishouse.com. First segment is brought to you uh, actually, this segment is brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his mortgage team at Cardinal Financial. You know the drill. Reach out to Patrick at patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, or call him 972-728-3420. Patrick's been my go-to mortgage lender my entire career. How rare is that? That you know someone, you trust someone, they do such a phenomenal job, you use them for 20 plus years, 
as your number one go-to most trusted mortgage lender or provider of anything. It's really rare. We love the team over at uh, at the Patrick Glaros team. Find them online, patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S. Uh, the only mortgage lender my wife and I have ever used when it comes to residential mortgage, patrickglaros.com, NMLS number 308804. Now, producer Courtney has a mic. It's unmuted. She's fired up. She's the guru. She loves the term guru. She's the guru of our YouTube channel, which mm-hmm. you can find at tatramaniteam.com. Just click the video step. Um, and there's lots of questions and activity happening over there. Hundreds of thousands of views and clicks and likes and some angry comments and some curious comments. What's cooking? Yeah, people are feisty, Todd. But here's the deal. Our number one video, the one that people are searching for, the one that people are watching the most is what is escrow? And I want to know why. Why are people obsessed Ooh, zinger. with escrow? Jeremy on our team has a deep-seated belief that if you say it's a doozy, he believes that's a bad thing. Oh. I think a doozy can be a good thing or a bad thing. I know I would say I use it as oh. a good thing more often than not. And I'd say it's a doozy of a question. Oh, see, I, I think a doozy is not a great thing. Okay. It's well, you and Jeremy can whammy. both you can both be wrong about that together. Um I'd say, man, that's a doozy. It's a good one. But it could also be a bad one. So it's it's a it's just an interesting thing. It's an outlier. Uh-huh. This is a doozy of a question, Courtney. Why do people like our what is escrow video so much? It's got, I don't know, hundred something thousand views on YouTube. Uh you want to know my real answer? Because as opposed to like a fake answer. Uh, give us real and fake. Oh, cool. Well, I always give real, but I, I will venture a fake one just to see how people enjoy that. Let's start with real. My real answer is because people uh, think they should know the answer to that question and they feel dumb not knowing it. So they've been faking it for years. Literally, people are like, oh, yeah, we settled it. We settled escrow. And then we had uh, tacos after that is what we did because we settled the escrow. That's because uh, that's what people do. Uh, no one really knows what it is. Now, escrow can mean a lot of things. Nine out of 998 out of a thousand times. It's a reference to an account, actually, like a bank account, an account that holds money. But in Texas, normally in the residential real estate space, when someone says escrow, what they really mean is like title company closing out a transaction. Like I pay, I have an earnest money deposit that goes into an escrow account, right? So I'm telling the seller, hey, I think I want to buy your house. I'll put a little money up front. We'll get under contract. We'll do some inspections. We'll check this thing out. Uh, And that money will be held in escrow. Really what this means is there's a neutral third party. In Texas, it's almost always a title company on a residential deal. Now the title company does a couple of things. For simple answers, They issue a title insurance policy. Now, really simple definition of that is they're just ensuring that the seller is the legal seller and the buyer is the legal buyer and the buyer is going to get full, you know, disconnected title to the property. What I mean by that is like Courtney's buying from Todd. Todd owns it. When Courtney buys it, now Courtney owns it and no one else has any claim on the property. Now, if Todd bought it from Jim and that deal was a little bit murky and it wasn't done super clean... Courtney might be worried that even though Todd sold it to her, Jim might come around later and be like, no, 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 no. That's what they're insuring. We checked that Jim sold to Todd legally and Bob sold to Jim and Susan sold to Bob. All the times this property has ever been sold since, you know, back in the day, it's been done legally and cleanly and you're buying it and you don't have to worry about any of that. And if ever anything happens, the title policy will protect you. That title company will solve those problems for you. If there's a claim on money or ownership, you're protected. So the title company's doing that. And that's kind of in this escrow conversation. Because a lot of times the the agent or the the closer at the title company is called an escrow officer. So I'm just trying to give you all the picture of escrow. So now title insurance and then escrow services. And the escrow services are like, okay, well, the buyer dropped off a check for earnest money that the seller is going to get later, but we have to hold it until the contract says we can release it. So it goes into an escrow account. And now the title company, the escrow officer is managing. The contract says there's earnest money one, and there might even be a second check. There's an option fee. You know, there's a deposit for some roof repairs. Also, 
the seller's mortgage is going to get paid off before the seller gets all their proceeds. So the buyer brings the money, but we don't give all the money to the seller. We give some money to the mortgage company and to the state of Texas and for that insurance policy and to pay for those roof repairs and all these weird things. And the title company is doing all of that. They're the third party that's trusted by buyer and seller to manage the middle. Does that make sense? Before the bank gets involved. Before it's closed out. Okay. Right. So you sign a contract and everybody's like, okay, cool. We're going to, we're going to do all this over at Republic title, mm-hmm. for example. And, you know, and, and, um, you know, Angela at Republic is going to be the, the agent, the escrow agent, the title rep that's going to handle all that. She's going to make sure that insurance policy gets done. She's going to make sure that they've searched the history of sales and the chain of title. She's going to make sure that that money gets put in the right account and it doesn't get released to the wrong person or too early. She's going to make sure that all those wire transfers are safe and protected, right? So that's basically what someone's asking when they're like, what the heck is escrow? It's like, what's happening over at the title company? What's up with the premium fee? That's the insurance part. What's up with the escrow fee? That's what you pay for these people to do all this for you. You know, why is it taking so long? Well, because they're tracking all this down. Okay, that makes sense, but I continue to pay escrow. Kind of. So <clears throat> then th- then everything changes, right? So if you borrowed money, this, you and I did a video on this on the YouTube channel. People need to check this out. <clears throat> if you borrowed money, if you have a mortgage, then your escrow, to a different escrow account. This is now an account that your mortgage servicer, not necessarily the person that you got your initial mortgage from. It might be a separate company that services it. And that means like they take in your payment every month. They make sure that the principal gets paid and the interest gets paid. By the way, you're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. Questions like this are answered all the time on our YouTube channel. Just go to ToddTremontiTeam.com and click the YouTube or click click the videos tab. And that'll get you to our YouTube channel where there's hundreds and hundreds of these videos. But so different kind of escrow with the mortgage company. This is an ongoing escrow account. The title one is like taking, making sure everything in the contracts that everybody agreed to gets done the right way before it closes funds. And now the buyer buys it and the owner buyer owns it and the seller does it and everybody goes their own way. Then that account goes away. The mortgage one is where let's just say that you are quote escrowing, which is another question that we get a lot. And that means that when you pay your payment to your mortgage servicing company, you're paying all four of these things. The principal of the loan, what you owe, the interest on the loan, what they get what the what they get paid to give you the loan. That's how they make their money. Plus fees. And then you're also play, paying the taxes, the property taxes, and the insurance. Because you have a mortgage, the lender who gave you money to buy your house is going to make sure that you have insurance. It's going to be required. Because if it burns to the ground, they no longer have collateral on that loan. So they, if they require escrows or if you choose escrows, the mortgage servicer now manages, which kind of like the title company did. You send them all the money. They make sure the principal goes to the right place. The interest goes to the right place. The taxes get paid to all the taxing authorities because it's a lot, the schools, the county, the city, all that. And that the insurance gets paid to the insurance company. So they're now, man, they're, they're not a neutral third party. They're protecting their own interests. So you pay them one payment and they make sure it goes to those four places. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So truthfully, we just probably answered eight or 10 or 12 potential questions. That is why what is escrow is such a popular video on YouTube because so many people understand parts of that, but not all of that, or they understand none of that, but they were honestly embarrassed to tell their real estate agent or their title rep or their lender. Like, I don't even know. I bought four houses and I don't know how it all worked out. Uh, Lots of people, sadly, and this, this, it's not just sad. This ticks me off. They buy a house. They have an agent, a real estate agent. They have a mortgage lender and they have a title person and they move into their house. And a month later they make their first payment and they're like, what? This is not what I thought my payment was going to be. And it's because they did not understand escrow. They did not understand APR and the actual interest rate. They didn't understand the parts of the payment that we're going to add up to the whole payment. They might not have even understood the term of the loan. I mean, it's really, really messy, which is why we are so adamant 
about working with good people. Not all realtors are the same. Good Lord in heaven. Not all realtors are the same. Certainly all lenders are not the same. And by all means, not all title companies are the same. And there's many other vendors involved, inspectors, appraisers, surveyors, roofers, plumbers, electricians, all these things. I mean, I had Rodney Reinhardt, Reinhardt Service Company. You can find their contact information on the radio tab at tatramaniteam.com. He was at my house this week. The downstairs heater wasn't heating. No big deal to me. I know all these people. But if you're out there in the world trying to figure out who do I trust and who do I let into my house when my kids are at home or my wife's at home or my husband's at home or whatever, you could spend your entire life trying to find good people that you can trust with really big decisions or you can find people that you trust and then uh, work with people that they know, like, and trust. And that's what's happening at ToddTremonteTeam.com. If you click on the radio tab, it's got pre-screened and preferred vendors there. Or you can just call us or text us. 214-310-0008. And we'd be glad to help you find people that you can trust. Like HomeServe. Or like Keen, Keen Landscaping. Landscaping. Oh, do it. Go, 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 I mean, go. honestly. Here she goes, folks. Here she goes. They are what? the best landscaping company you can find. And right yeah. now, while your trees are dying oh and gosh. the limbs are falling and the storms are coming through, you want to call them to do your tree work. You may have irrigation needs, landscaping needs, design consultations for the upcoming spring. You want to give Keen Landscaping a call. 972 424 Four eight five one keenlandscaping.com. They'll get it done for you. I've literally had them do everything you just said. Design, hardscapes, trees, lighting, regular maintenance, plantings, warranty work on plantings. What else? Uh, retaining wall. Ooh, I haven't had them do a retaining wall. What about irrigation? I've had them do irrigation. Well, I'm everything, calling them this week. Everything but the retaining wall. And that, you never know. <laughs> With the Tremonti family, that that, could, that might not be that far out. Keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, Keenlandscaping.com. I, I got to talk about Republic Title because we just spent so much time That's on true. escrow. So it's our opinion that most title companies are really bad at their jobs. It's kind of like real estate agents, right? Uh, title companies are this complex combination of law, legal stuff, attorneys, insurance, insurance agents and licensing, and then this major, major, major administrative lift that we just talked about, the neutral third party managing all the details between agents and between parties and between uh, homeowners associations and what they call like, well, I'm not going to go into it, like where you record your deeds and all this stuff. And there's all this chain of title where there could be deeds and liens and all these complexities. You don't have to worry about that if you have a good title company and Republic Title Company is as good as it gets in North Texas. Go to republictitle.com. If you're buying or selling or refinancing, tell your lender, tell your agent, I want to at least consider Republic Title. If not, just tell them you want to use Republic Title. That's what I do. Go to republictitle.com. When you talk to them, tell them we sent you. Or if you're talking, if you have an agent that isn't us, that you know, like, trust, that they're full-time, world-class, dedicated, tell them you want to work with Republic Title. Republictitle.com. What else is happening over on YouTube right now? Lots of questions about different areas of town. We have lots of videos about moving to Richardson, moving to Plano, moving to Fort Worth, moving to Benbrook. Lots of questions. There's definitely a lot of like angry, stop moving to Texas, super ticked off people in the comments, but, or people there telling everyone that I look like Rick Moranis. There's, that's also happening. That's true. What else? Um, uh, what about what's happening in Frisco? It's a hot area. Yeah. So I think right now, so we just talked about the video that it's like everyone's most, it's the most popular, but in a, in a shorter time period, the most popular video on our channel is, um, it's all, entirely about Frisco. It's about how Frisco is rapidly becoming a population center. And that when you look out long-term in the future of Dallas, Fort Worth, Lots and lots of people are starting to think it's going to be not DFW, but DFFW, Dallas, Frisco, Fort Worth. Um, if you look at like metropolitan statistical areas, which they call MSAs, it, ours is called Dal Worthington. It's Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. It's the conglomerate of those three communities. Well, that's Arlington is the south central one. Frisco's becoming the north, not quite central, but northeast, just massive population center. And the projections are that the growth north of Frisco is going to keep going crazy, crazy, crazy fast. What we tell people is people used to move to Frisco to commute to Dallas. 
Now they're moving to Sherman to commute to Frisco. So Frisco is absolutely blown up. Uh, it's new, it's fresh, there's entertainment, there's sports, there's shopping, there's dining, there's homes, and there's more of a variety of homes than people give Frisco credit for. Frisco's definitely had a rapid building boom of some similar looking homes on similar lots, but there's a lot of custom homes, beautiful homes. The PGA just moved there. I mean, there's gorgeous golf course properties, small ones, big ones. There's not a lot of cheap ones, we'll say that. The entry level to Frisco's definitely gone beyond 300 in almost every situation. There are some exceptions, but not many. And then you can go well up into the millions and multi-millions on acreage property, which we love to do up there. Um, Frisco's been unique in how it's approached the development of its school districts. So you have more schools with smaller populations and kids getting more opportunities to be on teams and theater and do act extra activities. So it's, it's a highly, highly regarded community. We've got lots of videos on our YouTube channel about it. You should check them out. Go to ToddTremontiTeam.com. Click on that videos tab. Share those with a friend that's thinking about moving to the area. If you subscribe to the channel, then you'll be, you can click the bell and be notified when new videos come up. Send those to friends. If you own a business, people that are moving here to work at businesses are disproportionately looking at Frisco. Um, on the west side, they're looking at Benbrook and Alito. Um, but we've got videos on those areas too, so check those out. But if you have a question about you, your family, your finances, buying, selling, or investing, I want you to call or text right now, 214-310-0008. Or save this phone number in your phone. And anytime you're ready to ask a question or make a move with real estate, just call or text. 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Roofing is not necessarily the most exciting topic on the planet, but it turns out that all the roofs of all of our houses cover all of our houses. I know, crazy thought. But if your roof is in bad shape, A, it can be really expensive. B, it can cause a lot more damage than you should let it cause. Have someone check your roof out. Summer heat, winter ice, high winds, lots of hard rain. This happens in Texas every year in crazy cycles, drought, then heavy rain. Drought, then ice. It, it, it's, it's, it, we get all of the elements here. And you need to be thinking about your roof. You don't need to think about it every day. But once every year or two, you need to have someone check out your roof. Even if there wasn't hail. And I think you need to check them out with PMR Roofing. PMRRoofing.com. That's PMRRoofing.com. Ask for our buddy Jordan. Tell him Todd Tremonti sent you. PMRRoofing.com. All right free strategy session just to talk about you and your real estate. If you have goals for a year from now or two years from now, or if you have ambitions about this week when it comes to your real estate, go to ToddTremontiTeam.com or call or text 214-310-0008. We are happy to help. We'll set you up with a completely free strategy session by phone, by Zoom, or here in the office. All of that happens online at ToddTremontiTeam.com. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.